Mitch Williams on the phone from MLB Network, one of my favorite guys in the world of sports. Mitch, what's up, buddy? How you doing, Artie? Hey, Mitch, so let's let's get right to this uh, World Baseball Classic. Ridiculous, stupid, ridiculous. Uh, I'm a Yankee fan, so Teixeira's not around. Uh, Robinson Cano and Damaso Marte, if I'm saying that right, returned from WBC nursing injuries. Hanley Ramirez, David Wright. I mean, this thing's ridiculous. Are you for this or against it? No, I think it, it's great for the sport. I mean, to grow the sport worldwide. And I don't know what injury Robbie would be suffering from because we had him on set after the show, and I watched him in batting practice. And already, let me tell you something. There ain't nothing more impressive than watching Cano take BP. I got to say, we saw we saw a, uh, a report, uh, him and Damaso Marte nursing injuries. Who knows what that is? It might not be that serious. But, yeah, dude, you're right, man. I got to say, I mean, now uh, you know better than me. You're, you're a major leaguer. You faced a lot of great hitters. But is Robinson Cano not the, the, the sweetest-looking player? Just He's like watching a ballet guy play baseball. I've never seen someone smoother in the field, hit, or even run the bases, right? Everything he does. There is not another player in the game. Mike Trout, I think, last year was the best player in baseball. He wasn't the MVP because there's, there's a difference between MVP and best player. Right. But what Robbie does at second base, the play he makes going up the middle. Yeah where he throws that ball back under his arm <laughs> going the other way and it looks like he's going 100 nobody can make that play but him no you're right and that again when tech share is playing first which of course he won't be because of the world baseball classic but when he's playing first that ball uh, tech share uh, tech share sets up at first base cano makes that backhand stab you're talking about throws it it almost looks like matter of fact like he made it out he caught a line drive and he's throwing the ball around the infield and he, he throws it from underhand yeah and the ball rises and always hits tech share between the numbers it's always a strike it, it, it's really something to watch, and I had him on. I had him on. I know he's a, a free agent uh, after this year, and I was standing at the cage talking to him, asking him, "Do you think something's going to get done?" He said, "Oh, I don't know." I said, "Well, do you need any new friends?" <laughs> it, it is going to be good to be Robbie. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine the New York Yankees even, like, like what are they? Just get out the pen, get out the checkbook. Come on. Just lock him up. Yeah. I mean, there's a Hall of Famer, you know? That That's a guy, if I'm a owner, I'm paying him. Right. And you'd be happy I mean, to do it. Yeah, I would be happy to do it. The, the thing is, the reason I'd be happy to do it, the way he goes about it. Yeah. You watch a lot of these big leaguers. They go out there and they play and they have a scowl on their face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You realize that you're getting paid to play something that you played your whole life for fun. Right. For free. No, you're right. Smile about it. Yeah, and he, he always looks. And Robbie has a smile on his face all the time. He always looks like he's he's having a great time. It reminds me of one of my first stand-up jokes I ever told. Uh, Jim Abbott, of course, the guy who only had uh, who only had one arm, pitcher for the Yankees. Yeah. He, he had just thrown a no-hitter for the Yanks, and <laughs> just actually, oh. I did this at the old uh, at the old uh, Catcher Rising Star in New York City. I and it got booed. I went up and I said, "Yeah, Jim Abbott." I saw Jim Abbott out at a bar, and uh, you know people. People were saying, hey, we're a big fan. And he was really arrogant towards them, really cocky, and uh, didn't treat them well. And I walked up to him and I said, Jim, you know how many people would give their right arm to be a Major League Baseball player? No. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> well, listen, you try what we can. We always They can't always be gems. Uh, he was amazing to watch, though. Oh, no. Have, if, you, if you watch the pitch... You could not look back quick enough and see him put that glove on. Yeah, no, I know. I, I, be, I mean, just, you know, you Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles playing the piano blind. I couldn't play it if I had even better vision than I have now. Oh. Uh, and, 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 and Jim Abbott playing Major League Baseball with one arm and, and being and throwing a no-hitter. I mean, mind-boggling. It's, it's kind of cool. 
Absolutely. Hey, uh, let's talk about the Yanks. Not to harp on it. Uh, uh, I'm a Yankee fan, but the Yankees for the last 20 years, as they go, baseball goes. They've been a legendary dynasty. What, what's going to happen here? Uh, Rivera, Jeter, all on their last legs. God knows what's going to happen with Rodriguez. Um, first of all, do you think Rivera is going to have a, a great last year? And how do you think the Yanks will do? Uh, absolutely. I think Mo is going to have a, a Mo year. Number one, it's his back leg. If it was his landing leg, it'd be a different story. Right. But it's his back leg. When it's your post leg, you can brace it and make sure there's really no stress on that leg. So he's going to do fine. Uh, right now we're hearing Jeter may not or may start the season on the DL. Yeah. You got the Shara may miss the whole year. A-Rod will probably miss the whole year. I honestly, I, I think the Yankees will probably finish last in the American League East this year. Wow, look, dude, I, I, as a Yankee fan, I'm willing to admit they weren't going to be bad. You're saying last place? It, they're just so banged up. Yeah, yeah, and they're old. I mean, now, Tech Share, when did you hear all year about Tech Share? Of course, I host a sports show. I never heard this. When, when did you hear? I heard uh, two... Th was, no, this... Right after, when I was in San Fran doing the WBC, right, said that they have to have season-ending surgery uh, on his wrist. Wow! Oh man, that I had only I, I heard four months, like which is a, you know almost the whole season anyway. So he's, he's going to be out the whole year. Well, you're right. Listen, I don't know about last place, but they're going to be bad. And Yankee fans, are, I mean, think about Jeter's career. Uh, what are you talking about? I think it's 19 years. He made the playoffs 18 of the 19. I mean, that's just, those. these fans are just spoiled, and I'm one of them. But uh, do you think this is going to be something that will last, uh, you know, maybe five, six, seven years? you think they're going into a, a bad run? You know, I, I don't, it depends on what ownership does. Right, and they got it right. They got the ownership decides, I mean, they've got to have stockpiled They've got to have some young kids in the minor leagues, but you're going to have to go out into the free agent market. They want to make sure they stay under the $189 million cap for the luxury tax, and that's tough to do. Right. So it, it, it may be thin for a couple of years. And you're, the one thing I want to say about Derek, to play in that city for 19 years. Yep. And never have anybody about you. Yeah. What kind of person is he? No, I know. And apparently the guy gets laid left and right, but he did it smart. He never got married. Never got married. So everyone was like, well, what do we care? We don't care if you cheat on Jordana Brewster. Who cares? Bang her all you want. Look at it. And, and every, I got really, really upset last year when Skeet Bayless, from ESPN questioned whether Jeter was on uh, PEDs. Yeah. Skip Bayless was a beat writer back when I played for the Texas Rangers. Right. He was one of the beat writers that would knife you in the back but would never come in to the clubhouse. Yeah, he seems like one of those types, yeah. Yeah, and he says that about Derek. Well, I came said on, uh, and I wrote my MLB.com article on that that week, and I said Skip Bayless would have to read the directions on a jock box on how to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> and well, well, hopefully he would put it on over his mouth. That would be nice. Yeah. Hey, what to the... say that about a guy that's been that has represented the New York Yankees, the sport of baseball. That's right. With the class dignity that Jeter has. Just shut up about him, unless you're going to talk nice. <laughs> now, what about the National League real quick here? Do you think the Giants have a good shot of repeating, or who's going to be the class of the National League? I I think Washington has the best team. Yeah, I'd like to see that, man. I, I, it's an exciting team. And they've got great starting pitching. They've got a great lineup. But, you know, you look at the Giants, and I I haven't picked them to even win the West in the last three years. Wow. And they've won the series two of the last three years. So they have something in that clubhouse 
that is really special. So that you you can go out and, and I'm not buying the Dodgers. You can go out and spend all the money you want on players. You can buy players. You can't buy a team. No, you're right. I agree with you. Baseball is the biggest sport fight. The Marlins were a big bust last year, and I loved it. What about the Blue Jays? Do you think they're going to be what everybody expects them to be? They're going to have to prove it to me. Right. But the one thing they do have is they, their pitching is solid. Yeah, well, that's what you need. But but the rest of it, it all the, it, it's a chemistry thing, and... Look, in 93, when we went to the World Series, there is no way in the world we had the talent to be in a World Series. Particularly at the but relief pitcher spot. Pardon? What's that? Particularly in the relief pitching spot. Oh, yeah. All the role, there was no way we had the talent. No, you were actually and, amazing, right? But uh, you're right. But, but you guys were a great team. Yeah, and that's it was the first and only time I played on a professional sports team that we had 25 guys all on the same end of the rope heading in the same direction. Yeah. Well, that's great. I mean, it was fun watching those Yanks teams that I grew up on in the, the late 70s and even the Mets in 86 and stuff. But listen, Mitch, we got to go. Listen, uh, that's a bold prediction. Uh, I, but as a Yankee fan, it's tough. I thought they were going to be bad. But you, you're saying last place, and I wish I could really argue with you. As the season goes on, buddy, please come back and join us. Come in live one day. You got it, buddy. Anytime. Thanks, Mitch. Gotta love. Gotta love uh, the great Mitch Williams.